Hello guys, it's me, Samuel from the Neverending Realm. And once again, we're here today to unbox another game. And that game is uh, Tales of Berseria, which would be the 16th game in the series. And actually the newest game, uh, at least until September, when Tales of Arise arrives. So as you can see, we have um, three games here, and there's a reason for that. This one is brand new. It's actually on the shrink, shrink wrap. Um, I got it from Amazon for like $19 or something like that. Very, very cheap. Uh, so it hasn't really, its value hasn't really gone up yet. It's, it's a very new game. Um, I have Cyberpunk. I have Wild Arms, which actually cost cost me like $19.99 back in the day, but now it's like over $100. So this one aged like fine wine, and it is a great game also. So I recommend it, highly recommend it. And we have a bottle of whiskey because we have to drink whiskey when we open new things. You know, it's just adds uh, something special to, to the proceedings. So, the reason why I have Cyberpunk and Waldoms here is because this package feels uh, a little lightweight. And um, I'm guessing that we do not have an instruction a book booklet in it. Um, that's just my guess, because that's how most PlayStation 4 games and most uh, Xbox games and Switch games uh, are released these days you know they you only have the case you have like a warning paper of, of uh, detailing various warnings and stuff and just the game disc you don't get any sp special stuff unless you buy a special edition but I, i'm i'm not quite sure if this one had a special edition so let's go back to the 90s in the 90s rpgs or jrpgs they all had uh, the jewel case packaging, which in my opinion is just much better than, than this. Uh, this is this feels cheap. And you know, you usually had uh, gameplay stuff on the background. You had a magazine quote. In this case, it was a Game Informer, which said by far one of the best action RPGs of the year because Wild Arms had turn-based combat, but you could actually solve puzzles and use different skills. Sort of like Spar by Zelda, uh, I guess. Uh, you could solve puzzles and do all this other stuff that actually felt like action, like an action RPG, but it was really a, a turn-based RPG. And it had an amazing story, and uh, it's probably one of the best RPGs that I've ever played. Really a 9.5, 10, 10 game, so... Uh, Game Informer, and I believe, uh, what was that magazine called? I don't know if it was uh, Game, Players, uh, uh, Game Players Magazine. They give it like, like a 9.5 out of 10. They were all right. This is really a masterpiece. So this game, I don't have the disc here. I have it on, on another spot, uh, safe and secure. They, you know, they used to come with the jewel case. You used to have the disc right here. And you used to get an instruction book booklet. And this one's actually pretty fairly new. Feels fairly new, even though it's like, uh, uh, well, it's 24 years old. Um, and this one was actually black and white. But you still had, you know, the character descriptions. And the story, sort of like a background to the story. And it was just very nice to just look over it. And you have all this other stuff. Um, the credits. You know, it was nice. And this is how games used to be packaged back in the 90s. But these days, uh, it's changed. We don't have any of the goodies that we used to get. So we, we're actually paying more for games and getting less. It's, that's especially true if you, if you just buy online um download games online so now cyberpunk the infamous cyberpunk 2077 it's not necessarily a good game 
I, I played about 10 hours of this on Xbox One X, and even in the late on the latest patch, it still had a bunch of bugs. And I quit playing with my character, you know, I, I had uh, clothing on and armor, armor on, and I still, you know, the actual character didn't have, you know, you couldn't see his pants or anything. He was just naked running around. And at that point, I just said to myself, you know, I'm going to stop and wait until CD Projekt uh, does the Xbox Series X uh, update, and then I will, I will try it again. Um, because the game is just, it feels unfinished. Uh, the AI is dumb as rocks. Um, apart from the bugs, just the AI was killing me. Uh, it was just dumb. Even driving around the town, you could see the... the AI drivers just stopping because somebody stopped on the road and they, they wouldn't even drive attempt to drive around the person stopped that was stopped on the road. They would just stand there and, and just make a line. It was just weird. It, it, it feels unfinished. It's just the kind of game that I think would have benefited from two more years of development. But one thing CD Projekt Red did right, and I actually commend them for it, is that when I actually bought this, I, I bought it from Amazon for like 20 something bucks like uh, a month after the game came out and um it came with this nice packaging that feels really premium in comparison to other xbox games um like assassin's creed uh valhalla and uh which i actually like more but the packaging was just cheap this actually comes with the sleeve with a cardboard sleeve and um and look at this a bunch of goodies like you have here are these postcards are these like i think these are postcards yeah you have this little sleeve it's like a postcard from uh yeah it is a postcard you know just you have it here yeah it's a post office um from the post office um uh, made in night city from night city yes and um you got about three you have one from uh yep pacifica the coyote Koyo, and japan town so this is nice this is something that they didn't have to do but they did it so obviously a lot of effort was put into making cyberpunk feel special right from the get-go in the packaging and you got a night city, city of dreams. Oh, this is a map. This is a map. And um, I remember Skyrim had a map too. On the case, if you bought like, if, if you bought it when it first came out on the 360, you had like a, like a nice, uh, like a nicer map than you did when you just bought the, the the regular game, but this is a huge map. And again, this is a nice touch. They didn't have to do this because no one does this anymore, but uh, CD Projekt did. So I actually feel kind of bad for putting them on the spot on <laughs> on the never ending realm, because it, it looks like they did made, made a good effort in, you know, uh, giving us some, uh, some fan service and making Cyberpunk feel special special like a special game just based on the packaging and uh, you know this when i first opened this i was very surprised by it um, so and here we got a world compendium this is where we get this this would be the instruction book booklet booklet uh equi equivalent of what we used to get in the 90s this is black and white but again you have a lot of story and historical uh, information here from the game's world and universe and it's just very very nice and very entertaining this is actually very very nice and again they didn't have to do this but they did it and you know i commend cd project for this and once you open the game uh you get technical support you get stickers this is these are actual uh stickers that you can just peel out and just stick them somewhere. Um, this is very nice too, very, a very nice touch. It's a shame that the game uh, is unfinished uh, so far because really, it, it looks like they really 
wanted this to be a big thing, like The Witcher, bigger than The Witcher 3, which was fantastic. And you also have uh, <clears throat> official merchandise that you can actually uh, purchase uh, from the purchase from the from their store. Uh, so, good job, CD Project. That was very good. You, you get your two discs, you get the game disc and uh, another disc where you just load a bunch of stuff in because games these days are huge. And so all of this brings us to the unboxing of Tales of Berseria. Now, Berseria um, came out a little earlier, obviously, in uh, 2016, um, in Japan and 2017 in the state on the states, um, and it was a cross-gen game. So this this game is also available on PlayStation 3, which means that graphically it doesn't really look that, you know, what you how you would expect a PlayStation 4 game to look, and that's something that the critics criticized, and and you know the the game holds like a 79 or 80 uh, Metacritic rating. I hadn't played it yet, so I, I can't vouch for that, but I, I'm a big fan of the series. So I assume that I'm gonna enjoy it. Um, you get, uh, this is my way to live. So you get a, a quote from, I guess, the protagonist. And you know, you travel the world and discover a new way of life, confront a world where emotions clash against reason. Hmm. And combine melee attacks and magical artists to vanquish your enemies. And this is something that you, you've done for decades now with this series. One of four players, 13 gigs. You need 13.2 gigs of space on your PlayStation uh, 4. And, you know, you have basic stuff. It has a T rating. So let's open it. Let's open this thing. Um... I didn't bring my knife today, but it's pretty flimsy, so it should open up. Oh, oh yes. Smell of a new game. So let's see. Does the game have an instruction booklet? I, I, I am guessing that it doesn't. I am hopeful that I'm proven wrong. Let's see. Oh, God, this is what I hate about modern games and modern companies. Look, nothing, nothing. Like you could have like a nice little booklet with the characters and the story, just like Wild Arms and the Tales games and everybody did more than 20 years ago. But now we got an empty case, an empty case. I feel like I was ripped off. And you get the, you get a game disc, uh, Blu-ray, so. This is not exciting at all, not exciting at all. It was, it's a Tales of Berseria unboxing, but it, it was a lot more exciting to just unbox uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Um, so, come on, man, I mean, I, I guess it's pretty late now. Whatever they decided to do for the packaging in Tales of Arise uh, is gonna happen in September. So I'm hoping that they do Includes something nicer in that game. Uh, so, yes, I am very disappointed. I, I don't know. I don't know. See, companies are trying to cut costs these days. So I don't know if you're ever going to get back to that era where games had the instruction booklets and all these other assortments inside of the cases with regular editions. So you didn't have to really pay extra. Uh, thankfully, CD Projekt, you know, did it with cyberpunk so let's see uh let's see what happens next um i assume that i will be unboxing all the games soon let us know in the comments what other games uh you've uh, you have opened from this era from the playstation 4 era that actually brought some goodies and assortments that, that are not special editions because you know sold the breath of the wild the special edition it was like a hundred dollars and, and it had a lot of extra stuff but if you bought the real game, uh, the, you know, the, the regular game, it was $59.99, and all you got was a case and the game uh, card. And that was very cheap, especially for a Zelda game, because Zelda games are supposed to feel special. And the card wasn't even golden 
coded. It was just like a regular uh, Switch game. So companies are getting very lazy these days. I guess they figure out people are gonna buy the game anyways. Um, but yeah. So please let us know in the comments uh, if you have bought a game that has nice goodies, regular game, this generation, apart from Cyberpunk. And um, remember to please subscribe and like the video so that we can keep uh, opening stuff here and maybe open some some games that are more exotic than this. Um, either way, guys, have a nice night.